I've not seen such bravery. Welcome to the wonderful life of Robert Hughes. Robert awoke this morning on the shore of an island, realizing he'd been exiled there because he has a nasty little case of the deadly plague. This plague gives him a continuously worsening fever, and if it gets too bad, Robert will die. Lucky for him, there are a bunch of scientists here working on a cure. <laughs> Miasmata puts you in the shoes of Robert as he journeys across the island of Eden to find the cure to his disease. Lucky for Robert, this island has a variety of plants that have many different properties. Somewhere out there is a combination of plants that can be used to make the cure. They can also be made into medicine to help keep his fever down, or into these magic tonics that really don't seem to match the rest of the game, though they are useful. Navigation is probably my favorite part of this game. While you're out looking for new plants, you actually have to use landmarks on the island to triangulate your position on a map. It's almost like actually being on a deserted island. Almost. While you do have to stay hydrated, finding food is not a part of the game. Try as I might, I wasn't able to kill any of the animals on the island, and all I could really do with the banana I found was wave it around, though that was pretty fun. The physics engine is supposed to simulate actual human momentum, which is sometimes cool and sometimes annoying. Robert speeds up when going down hills and slows down drastically when going uphill. If you move too quickly down steep slopes, Robert will fall over himself, and any stumbling or falling makes his fever spike. Overall, I think these are just features that take getting used to. Although it is frustrating to watch Robert hobble over ledges just because he has too much forward momentum from walking. Frustrating as it is, I can't deny the sense of urgency that falling creates. It really is just you versus the island, and the smallest misstep could be a fatal one if you're too far away from camp. Overall, I found Miasmata to be an enjoyable game. Sure, there are some graphical errors here and there, as well as some other technical issues that draw me out of the experience. But for a two-man project, it's pretty damn impressive. It's also not a game for everyone. If wandering around, mapping an island, and looking for plants sounds like it could be fun to you, then maybe you should check it out. But be warned, the island's wildlife might not be as friendly as it seems.